Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to um, my channel. This is Safe Sekalala, and uh, today we're gonna continue. We're gonna go on with our um, uh, long live people slash uh, you can learn anything uh, series. All right. So um, this episode is a little late. I was supposed to post it um, by. 11th and so um, we just were getting out of the 11th uh, as of as of recording this this is uh, we're a little past midnight uh, I'm on the east coast in the United States and so 12 16 a.m. my local and so again my oh well we're just you know playing that out and so I apologize for that but we are gonna get we're gonna we're gonna catch up uh, and uh, so just to just a little bit of just to uh, go back a little bit and to recap w where we've come from, in fact, might help to just kind of go through the slides. I remember um, this is the Long Live People. Uh, this is part of the Long Live People project, and uh, and you know, uh, and then a related campaign to that is you, you can learn anything. All right. So first thing we looked at, uh, one of the first topics we looked at as part of all that was. Um, it's okay not to know, okay, as long as you're willing to learn. And so, and as part of that, we looked at, you know, kind of just, the, the, again, the whole point of the Long Live People Project is to, like, show us the fact that there's so much technology out there, we don't even know what to do with it, all right? And the fact that a lot of, uh, for instance, you know, not judging, but, like, a lot of, for instance, my, my students in the past, I've noticed they don't even know how to Google, uh, or just Googling is when we're faced with a problem we forget that we can just easily google it right so um there was that and then uh moving right along we went into uh uh the third episode where we were dealing with um let's see here learning so how do you learn okay so because we're looking at we're saying all right you know what you gotta be with it because this is the age of chat gpt like now we've gone from google to having chat gpt having AI, all right? Uh, we have smartphones, though we don't, again, we don't even know the functionality, um, like half the functionality that, that we can do with ours. Our smartphones can do so much. It doesn't matter if you have a Galaxy or, or iPhone or whatever other brands, right? And so um, that tells us that, you know, we just gotta uh, be willing to just get with the times, learn, don't be a dinosaur, all right? And then look at, well, so if we're learning, how do you learn? And then um, the learning also segues us into uh, the topic of, you know, some of the lucrative topics that we can learn in this day and age because uh, my generation, the millennials, and other, uh, it's just uh, across the board, um, the landscape is changing in terms of kind of we've moved from uh, the world of, you know, where you had like at one point in the United States, for instance, you had manufacturing jobs were very easy to, I don't know. Um, you know, I, I know that what the lament that I hear from the United States, from folks in the, in the United States, uh, about how back in the day it was so easy to, you know, just with a high school education, you go like get a job in the fa in, a, in a factory uh, after high school. Um, with our parents in Africa, it was the same. I'm, I'm in my late 30s, but uh, I don't know, just jobs back in the day, you know, barely with a high school diploma, you can just go out there and just get a good job. And then uh, that's not the case anymore. So nowadays we have a college degree, depending on what you, what major do you have, and uh, depending on, on on what other skills you have, um, you, you know, you might you might or you will struggle in the you know in, in your job search. And so this is where topics like uh, software development and project management come in. Okay. And so uh, last episode. We looked at that. And I was just giving you, uh, I was giving you all a an overview of what uh, project, rather software development is about. Um, coming up, we are going to be going into uh, project management. Okay, so that's the next uh, series coming up. But first, today, before we get into kind of uh, project management, um, we have looked at software development, and in between, I just want us to look at a little bit about. Um, kind of what data science is. So software development or coding as, as nowadays, you know, we call it uh, for the most part, you know, 
you know, that's my might seem straightforward enough, right? So you have and remember again, this is just a recap from last time. We talked about what front end is, though you have the front end. Okay, I'm trying to do the, the big cursor here in the Mac. You have the front it doesn't matter. Front end, back end, what the database uh what database uh, functions are and you know what the tools are. Okay, SQL, MySQL, MongoDB, etc. DevOps and you know native apps, right? So like on your phone and your iPhone um you have apps for banking or games etc etc and so this is all these are all like the languages the frameworks the libraries frameworks all the different tools um that you use for software development for coding but uh what i wanted to also do is to as an aside as like you know another job so because there are three main jobs really that i'm highlighting in this series i suppose which is the first one is coding software development all right um, the other one, the last one is going to be uh, project management. But before we get to project management, which is, by the way, very, uh, it's another one of those fields that, so coding, I think you've probably heard of the fact that the, the demand is very high for coding for software development jobs, software engineering, right? The demand is very high. I mean, uh, in the United States, companies just go abroad and, you know, go to Southeast Asia and stuff. Uh, you know, uh, uh, folks get sponsorship from those countries to come over here and do these jobs, right? And so, and then the project management is another field that folks might not know it, um, but there's, there's, it's, it's also a high demand. There's a lot of jobs in, in the field of project management, and we'll get into that later. But another field in between that I wanted to that that I wanted that I want to highlight as well is the field of data science. Okay, so. This, uh, today's episode is about data science, the statistics and data science, and what I'm calling it is. Let me just uh, expand the um, the title uh, the, the title uh, the page, as I guess. Um, what are the odds? I'm calling it so. Episode five. What What are the odds? Uh, in Math Hater's Guide to Statistics and Data Science. Now, I do know that when you hear statistics and data science, uh, and I know how most of, us, most of us feel about math. I know I certainly did from the second grade when uh, the not, the, 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 uh, I was in a Catholic boarding school and the, 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 the teacher, she, you know, I think she, well, she, 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 she a nun or like a, like a, a lay a Catholic a catechist woman, whatever. She used to like beat our hands when we did not cram the multiplication tables. I fell out of love with math. All right, so I just want to point out the fact that you know what, even though you, you think math is hard and you think you hate it, actually, you know what, you might be surprised. All right, before we continue, as always, just want to do some dedications. Um, uh, uh, the squad that I work with under Code for America is uh, Code for Philly because I live in Philadelphia in the United States, and uh, the particular project that I work with is Flask, and so the website it's a web, uh, web app. Uh, Flask, the way you see it spelled right here, um, P H L A S K dot M E. Okay, again, that's Flask, P H L A S K dot M E. I guess you can add www, but nowadays for some reason, if you, when you go to when you go to browsers, if you just type uh, the way the correct spelling dot M E, uh, it's, nowadays browsers even like just help you pull up the site without you having to um, say, let me just prove it to you right here. Because uh, in case you don't believe me, or in case you've never noticed it lately, see, uh, you go to Chrome, type it in, and voila, uh, this the the web app opens up. So this is just a shout out with the group that I work with as a volunteer, as a volunteer software engineer. Pretty please, uh, you want I've I've pointed out before the fact that like if you're learning uh, how to code or UX UI project management. You want to have a portfolio, and one of the ways to do that is to volunteer. Um, you know, you learn, you, you know, just get to practice your skills, and you uh, do good. Um, so, our app is about helping folks find clean water um, in, in an environmental, you know, in an environmentally friendly way uh, with uh, reusable water bottles versus, uh, you know, buying like bottled water and whatnot. So, but we've gone from not just that to also uh food and foraging bathrooms if you're out there sometimes a lot of the times you're out there and you need to use a bathroom a lot of businesses are rather cruel when it comes to you know letting you use bathrooms anyway so that's it for the shout outs 
All right, so let's just get to the topic of the day. Um, and again, let me just go back to the, the title slide. Statistics and data science is what we're looking at. Okay, so data science at the end of the day is what I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm pointing out, I'm, 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 I'm discussing. But I cannot tell you about data science without telling you about stats, statistics. And I cannot tell you about statistics without first talking about that dreaded subject, mathematics, ugh, right? You know, multiplication tables, oh my God, math, ugh, you know? I gotta admit, right now I'm studying for the uh, the PMP exam. I, I have a CAPM uh, certification already and I'm getting my PMP. And when I just look at numbers, ugh, God, even to this day. And yet, the problem is, is that math is actually such a beautiful topic, all right? The problem is it's just not taught well. Okay, the problem is how it's taught. Believe it or not, math is actually really, uh, as an adult, I've come to realize the beauty of math. And in this slide, for instance, I have, this is a site that I, I discovered. I went to Google and I typed in the beauty of math and this site came up. It's a free site and this is part of what I'm, the point I'm driving home with the Long, Long Live People Project. These are all free resources out there online that can help us learn. And these folks have uh, this site right here. This is plus.math.org. Okay. I'm probably going to uh, put the link somewhere um, uh, on, on, under uh, the, uh, the this video. But look at look at all those images right here. Okay. This, they're just demonstrating the, the, the applications, the, the, the various applications of math. Um, all the machines that we have that help solve all, like pretty much like all of them really, just all the machines that you have that make your life easier would not be possible if, you know, that they're, they're all built on math, right? And so um, this picture right here is actually really, I was looking at it earlier. And so this is topography, I believe this is tomography rather, okay? <laughs> the names sound a little bit topography, tomography, but you know, again, what I'm trying to demonstrate to you here is just the beauty of math, right? Um, the picture that I have on this slide demonstrate that it demonstrates that as well. And you, you look at like kind of the symmetry of um, when you look at let's say like the way a house is built, right? And you just you know you, you, you know when it comes to geometry, like look at that right there. This is um, uh, you know uh. Well, going back here, we, we, we start to look closely at nature, right? The way nature, you know, light, the way light behaves, the way uh, this right here, to just look, look at this real close, can it save your life? Uh, this is a CAT scan and, the, you know, the way CAT scans work and all that. Um, you know, just point is just let's not, don't, don't think about math in a, in a you know, uh, in, in a way of, oh my God, I hate math. Uh, and... The way to, you know, so, but then, like, how exactly do you uh, kind of, if you have, like, you're struggling with it, you, you, you got to realize that, you know what, look, it takes time to learn it. One resource that I want to find very useful is Khan Academy, okay? Khan Academy, I just, the way Salman Khan goes through, uh, see, and, and we're looking at uh, the different kind of topics of math here, or different, right, the different topics. Speaking of, by the way, uh, we get his stats and probability right here. And Salman Khan is just does a, such a good job of like breaking down these topics, right? Um, again, my claim, and, and honestly, it's it's true. A lot of folks say it is uh, research shows that the way math, is, the STEM subjects, so, uh, science, technology, engineering, and math, the problem is not, you know, I mean, they are tough, but they but you can learn them. The problem is that. Uh, the way they're taught is just makes them boring and um, you know you know and to be fair that they're hard to teach anyway so number one just that's I have to talk about math and just to like kind of demystify it a little bit and say you know how do you learn math okay so I hope that makes sense I'm just again that my main point here is the fact that it's not this math is not this big scary monster that we that, that we've made it out to be uh, rather, it's like it's a topic that can just that has a lot of beauty in it. Um, where the applications, it's all around us. Though our world is made possible because of math. Uh, is the point I'm making there? Okay. All right, moving right along. And then next, statistics. 
Now, this one, I'm going to be a, little, a lot more succinct with it. Um, I've spoken to, uh, I remember one time I was doing some research. I, I had some, uh, it was, was in Kansas at a university. I had some, uh, uh, a colleague and I, a nursing professor, we were doing a, a research project. And we, uh, you know, had two nursing, you know, there were, there were seniors, they were about to graduate from the nursing programs. Actually, right now they're working as nurses, uh, registered nurses um, out in Atlanta and uh, Kansas. And, you know, the, the nursing program, you know, healthcare programs, they have to learn, like, you know, math, physics, chemistry and biology, et cetera, et cetera. And, this is, you know, these are straight A students, but... but <laughs> They just and I talked about we're doing research and I was I was like mentoring them in research and they were just saying oh my god just stats they were like the funny thing was I found it so funny how they said you know what math you know I don't I don't even hate math that much whatever but stats just does not make any sense to me and you know when when I think about it it makes sense the fact that it does not make sense to them because it's not just statistics is built on math but there's an art to it but let me just try to make it very simple for you here okay and if you like this video like I said uh, folks give me some feedback here because if you like those videos um, I can make more and uh, you know I do have a site professor safe so you know that's prof and then my first and last name, S-E-I-F-S-E-K-A-L-A-L-A dot O-R-G. For the most part, I have a curation. Like, there's a lot lot of free resources out there. This is the point I've made at Infinitum, and I'll keep saying it. Khan Academy is one, is one of the sites. The point I'm making, though, is I'm going to just kind of, like, summarize what stats is about a little bit and then move on from there. So with stats... There's some key concepts that you got to uh, uh, realize. Number one, you're doing two either of two things. You're either demonstrating, like, see this right here. This is a prototypical uh, descriptive stats uh, image. Okay. Uh, this is the, the bell curve, which shows how um, in just nature, a lot of the time when you have a population that's big enough, this tends to be like the normal curve, like this tends to be uh, a lot of folks, like for instance, with IQ tests, this blue region right here, okay, it tends to be like the region where a lot of like uh, uh, folks score, okay, and then on either end, so this this is a perfect, like a, this this image right here is a really good example, um, so usually like for instance, in a, yeah, this, 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 it happens uh, a lot in you know as, as a professor this this does i mean normally i want not i don't i would prefer for it to be skewed to where the most of my students you see like this this orange region i would love for it to so this is a normal curve all right in nature normally uh it just um like a coin toss when you keep uh, tossing a coin usually at the end of the day you'll find that like um kind of heads or tails whatever like what the result comes out to i'm trying to do the big curse oh my god <laughs> it's the blue region right but as a professor i'd love for the skew to be for it to be uh, right skewed i'd love for my students to like be scoring high definitely not left skewed i don't want them to be scoring poorly in the blue in, in the in the dark blue region rather like the 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 um, is this light blue or is this, uh, you know, those, those fancy names we have for <laughs> colors nowadays? When I was growing up, we just called them blue, yellow, and all that. But, but yeah, but like, you know, in all seriousness, right? So, um, this is descriptive stats right here, okay? And then in French stats, you are doing two things. And there's a chart that I was able to pull up from online earlier. Let me show you what it is. With uh, in French stats, you're looking for two main things either differences or relationships okay relationships or differences you can say them either way right and this chart right here helps you kind of decide and helps you um uh, figure out what type of test should i use to get to get my answer right so if you're looking for for instance it breaks it down for us here uh if i'm looking for uh relationships okay so you gotta look at what kind of variables am i dealing with right um uh, for instance, you know, you have uh, variables, you have uh, nominal, ordinal, interval ratio, right? Um, and nominal or variables, like, you know, you have like, uh, 
uh, you can you know easily classify them into just categories all right um, they're not easily countable uh, ordinal or uh, the cut of the variables that you can kind of measure easily like you know there's like uh, you can quantify them easily interval ratio are the ones with have you know the ones you have um, uh, so the further you go the ratio has a true zero right uh, interval there's like you can measure them but like it's hard to like kind of quantify as like uh, you know what's a like for uh, a, a zero or like like for you to have uh, um, uh, you know uh, zero measurement and I'm, I'm I'm butchering up you know like this this is not this is I'm not going I'm not going to I'm not this is not this video is not meant to go into details but uh, if I like I said if I hear, get enough feedback we can I can delve into these in, in, in the future anyway so depending on what kind of variables you have um, you know uh, then this right here helps you decide what um, so there's a chart that I have so this right here this come to think of it this chart is okay but it doesn't well it does yes here you are so continuous so the way it breaks them down here you have continuous and discrete or categorical right um, what I was saying just now continuous so like noir I was using uh, uh, the classification I was using I was breaking this down further right because here they have discrete and categorical so that they, they go your uh, ordinal um, interval ratio okay uh, or uh, continuous you know like um, if I'm not mistaken this is let me just kind of go ahead and uh, so uh, noir let me look at the, let's look it up instead of I'm going to pontificate and give you the wrong kind of uh, Right, let's see uh, variables more variables I'm not gonna give you the wrong info here where where we could just Google it yeah. all right let's take a look so a nominal ordinal interval ratio okay and so break down here uh, nowadays Google <laughs> because of chat GPT uh, has given us uh, you know they've they, they have their own Google Bard and so here you go. So Noir, uh, I already said these names. Um, uh, let's see. And they just kind of describe them. Uh, you know, the, the descriptions I gave earlier um, are the same ones you will find. And it's just that this chart right here simplified them to where all the, the OIR, are, you know, they, they're putting them discrete and categorical. Actually, you know what? I'm doing it the other way around. All right, so um, let's take a look here. Uh, so nominal, you know, categories, right? So there you go. That's what they have. Categorical, okay? So it's nominal. You can put people in different categories, men and women, cat, dog, fish, etc. Ordinal, you can rank them, okay? You can, let's say, just somehow you can rank them and remember what I was saying before and then the further you go so interval you can like give you know more like like it's more consistent in terms of like the the intervals between them and then ratio you have a true zero all right so again this is what I was saying and I just didn't want to like just you know but two things you're looking for just to go back to what we're saying, right? I said, you're looking for two things, either descriptive or inferential. So this is, I mean, with descriptive, for instance, you have this, and you have average. You wanna look at uh, uh, what are, um, uh, there's average, there is, um, uh, we have other topics right here. You have, what's the, you know, like a standard deviation, um, you know the range uh frequency you know like the, the variance those are some of the topics for descriptive stats all right inferential stats either differences or relationships and depending on what you're looking for there you'll use different types of tests chi square correlation regression etc etc okay so uh, it's, it's, I mean, I really hope, uh, you know, I mean, that I, I've, I've tried to like kind of just really give you an overview of it. But again, my whole point here is to just make you understand, to make, make you see the fact that, you know what, it's not as bad as you, you, you might think. 
finally, then data science, just going back to like, let's just back up. Remember, what, this is what I was saying. I said, data science, you cannot look at data science without kind of understanding the fact that like it's built on these as the foundation. Mathematics is the base. And then you have statistics. We're looking at that just now. And then for data science, you're looking at, you've, you're finally able to do, uh, and this is a, uh, this is my, uh, the website that I have um, where I give you tools. I have, I, have, I curate a whole bunch of tools where you can go, um, now there you go, so there it is. So Turtle Month's Data Science Journey. And I'm gonna put these, these links in the, in the um, uh, under the description of the video. Uh, so finally, after stats, you then, you can, you have the ability now to use coding, right? You can use, um, let's just go back to the front page, uh, to the beginning page. You can use either, uh, you can use computers, right? Either like languages R or Python, okay? Or even other languages to do calculations that you could not do with, you know, without computers before, okay? So now you have like just, and you have a, and then you have machine learning and AI, right? So this is again, this is now you're getting into, uh, this is what data science is part, is, is you know, this is what it's about, and these are the, some of the, the the various topics in data science. Um, the, the boot camp that I went to uh, is called Data Science Dojo, and this is uh, this is this is a list of their topics. Okay, so you know our our programming is a thing they they don't use just r they use uh, it's this topics right here you can use either python or r it's up to you right um but again this is just like a layout of, of like the different topics of data science right um data mining uh data storytelling and so what we're just talking about just now like with the descriptive stats that's number seven right here and then finally and then you get into predictive modeling right uh supervised and unsupervised learning and classification there you go what I, like you just just you can have at it there's a lot you can do with uh data basically and all right like you as soon as you have um you have uh the elements of statistics and now you have computing power right the sky's the limit in terms of you being able to like do uh uh to predict basically right like so you have customers you have you are you have a your amazon or you are walmart you have your fill in the blank you can predict people's behavior okay you can actually analyze uh what are uh what are the trends you know it, a, you, you have have a lot of capabilities now thanks to the fact that you have you know computers right you have like um Again, yeah, Python, R, you have all these, you have these different libraries, you know, you can automate all these, like, uh, you don't have to now just, like, count, you know, you, 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 just, the, you know, your abilities are much more, you, you, you have better abilities now, you have, you have a, a, a um, you know, a much bigger leeway in terms of how you can do calculations, okay? So, that is uh, the nutshell for data science. And so um, there's, uh, there's this part A is mine. I meant to add a part B, which is Khan Academy and others. But you know what? Um, let me just kind of, you know, just, you know, like Khan Academy, I've, heard, I've talked about it before uh, already. Uh, you know, I might just go ahead and like, you know, add uh, the others, but like really from my website, you can go to the different ones. Khan Academy on my channel here in YouTube, uh, it's one of my, uh, it's one of the channels that I follow as, as one of the channels that like I subscribe to. Okay. And so I highly encourage like Khan Academy, honestly, is Salman Khan, especially, but there's other uh, tutors as well. I think he does, he does a good job of, uh, of, of uh, choosing, I guess, other uh, tutors. They really do a good job of, of explaining this stuff. So, um, all right. So that in a nutshell is uh, data science for you. So just to recap again, just this episode right here was about uh, statistics and data science, mostly data science, but I, 
like I said, I could not go into what data science is without discussing stats and the fact that it's, you know, stats is built on math, all right? I hope <laughs> you've watched it until the end. Um, it's like I said, it's not, you know, this, this, this stuff is not easy, but neither is it impossible, all right? So if you've made it this far, Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. I always, you know, like I just, I, I don't, I, I don't want to say it. Like I've, I've never judged folks that used to say that. Like you know, this the business of like uh, uh, um, being on YouTube and and and, and, uh, and uh, social media. But uh, yes, for real. Um, give me some feedback if you enjoy these topics, or depending on like the episode, the episodes that you enjoy. And I can do more, okay? So, but it's been a pleasure as always. And uh, the next set of topics we're going to get into is um, project management, all right? And then from there, we'll get into drakeology. Remember, we did a, I, I, give, I give you an overview uh, in the first episode of the series. All right, so thank you so much for watching again. And uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, out for now.